We're here at the Mountainside Market at the Food for Life warehouse in Burlington. They have launched the first of its kind in Halton rescued and surplus food market, welcoming in friends and neighbors who are struggling with food security to shop for what they might need for their families. We are in a space where we're inviting the community, our neighbors, in to basically shop for the fresh food that they would normally have access to at our various markets. What's great about it is, you're right, Kimberly, it is set up like a grocery store where we have our freezer items as well as our fresh food items. So neighbors who are coming into this space are able to leave with approximately, right now, we're looking at about 30 pounds of fresh food, which includes meat, uh, bread items, fresh vegetables, and uh, fresh fruit. The brilliant piece about this market is it's fully rescued and surplus food. Tell us a little bit about that. That's correct. So no food in this space is purchased. It is all rescued food. So we have incredible volunteers in this space that come and sort the food that we receive um, from our local donors. We're dealing with farmers and grocery stores, um, sometimes directly from the uh, co-packer as well and it's all excess food that is good to eat there's nothing wrong with it um, and we sort it out of its original packaging and then get it out into community we talk about rescued food but we also talk about food surplus so items that just don't have a space in the stores or perhaps at restaurants what does that look like so that looks like a lot of food that has just broken packaging um, it also looks like food that maybe they bought too much of and it's not suitable for that demographic in that store um, also things that are still in date, but the, own, the, the store's policies um, dictate that they need to get it out and replenish it faster than the date on the package. If it doesn't end up in the banks here, where does the food go? We accumulate all the food waste, and then all those food waste will be thrown into the composter at Food for Life. Uh, the composter will uh, generate the heat up to 55 degrees and above, and that will foster the optimal composting. Those will be our natural fertilizer and uh, our manure for, uh, for our community. So this is truly a good news story all around. The food comes in, it's helping to support those in community with food security issues. And then if it's not being used, it's going into the composter and back out into the community. Full circle environmental story. How does it feel working for somebody that is making that great of an environmental impact? I am simply honored and it's my great pleasure to work here at Food for Life where I can see the actual changes with my own eyes and uh, the fact that I'm engaging into global food uh, security issues is also very important for me. Food for Life has seen an increase in 30% in friends and neighbours accessing food for their programs. To learn more, visit foodforlife.ca. Reporting in Burlington, for Halton News, I'm Kimberly Calderbank.